Hi, today we will be looking at the setting the environment variables tinyOS to make different platforms running in tinyOS. Now, to write the environment variables, you need to write the paths, actual exact paths, where you need to write it. You need to write them by standard or the by the prescribed ways. Go to my computer. Okay go to the directory where sigwin is installed in that you need to go into the directory where you have a folder labeled as home in sigwin you have a folder home go into the that folder there are two files important files dot bash rc and dot bash underscore profile file you need to make changes in these two files open the dot bash rc file and that bash but where to open it please don't open it in text pad word pad and these sort of oh do you can open it in text pad don't open in text editor go for text pad notepad plus plus these sort of open source uh, pad, uh, programmers notepads software so that uh, it make the changes exactly as it is required okay now when you open it dot bash rc file you need to write these export commands exporting the paths exporting the environment variables here at the end of this file i just show you with a bigger screen but i have written okay here export class path class path task this is for especially for i mode for configuring i mode okay please note down for i mode who are configuring i mode okay done 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 and this is this is especially fully for i modes but you may write for all okay after making changes in this file save this file go to dot bash underscore profile file open it in notepad plus plus i have as i have opened it go and write these few lines here write these few lines here please okay these selected lines please okay what i have written i just show you with a bigger okay please Write down this okay now this is just a comment if you want to show a message in the front you can make it uncommented and the screen and shows hello to tiny OS or whatever you want to write this is just uh, the comment to show a comment echo is just to display the command on the screen some text on a screen okay now the bash to run that bash file else those export commands won't be imported into the sigwin okay now what to do after doing all these changes save them save them and run the sigwin and your sigwin will be run without errors see i just show you here with the bigger screen there are no errors when i run it okay so today tutorial was just about the setting the environment variables i hope you understand it